many of the of the gas companies you know tout these big detergents they put in? What if any difference do those make? Well, they do make a difference, but it's a long-term thing. Uh, fuel systems still get dirty, engines still get dirty, deposits build up, and the fuel detergents will clean those off, but it takes a long time. To continually run them all the time, it's really not that critical and not that necessary. Uh, a bargain tank of gas is not going to hurt your car. And that was our, our next question is, you know, if you're buying the expensive Chevron versus something like gas war, does that make a huge difference? Not really. Some people can claim that you can see a little bit better gas mileage off a of high-end fuel as opposed to a low-end fuel. The alcohol content in gas makes a big difference. The more alcohol you have, the, m the less fuel mileage you're going to get. Uh, but there's no way for the average person to know what posted the alcohol content is in the gas they're buying, right? it's, it's posted on the pump. Oh, it is posted on the pump? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, it has to be labeled that it has an al alcohol content, a maximum of, say, 10%. Maximum allowable by law, I believe now, is 30 percent. And lower is better. Lower is better. Excellent. Um, oh, you had said, though, maybe in some higher-end cars it might make a difference? The octane rating in higher-end cars makes a difference. Uh, the compression ratio on these cars is higher, so they can make more horsepower. The computer systems will compensate for low-octane fuel, but in doing so, it reduces your power and thus reduces, reduces the gas mileage of the car. So if you've got a high-end car, good gas is what you need. Okay, and uh, just to clarify that a little more, uh, when we say high-end, we're talking Mercedes, Lexus, that kind of thing? Uh, sportier type cars. Mm -hmm. uh, Top-of-the-line cars of most manufacturers run high compression engines now, again. But uh, your average grocery getter, no big deal? Not a big deal. 87 octane all day long. Okay. Uh, I see, so that's detergents. Octanes and cheap versus expensive. Okay, so we're not we're not hurting our cars by going to gas war to save a few pennies. No, you're not going to damage the car. Now, bear in mind, if the gas station looks pretty seedy, you could contaminate your fuel system with junk in their tanks. Right. Now, that's a bad thing. Yeah, and I've seen instances maybe where, like, in the underground tanks, water will get in there. Yes, and that's water in your tank is. It's a catastrophe. Uh, you could anything you would save would be long missing from that because it could cost thousands of dollars to repair a car that's been destroyed by water. Yeah, I actually covered a story on that once in New Mexico. Uh, oh, and you had said, uh, you know, there are other ways to improve your mileage as simple as driving habits. The best way to save fuel is get off the pedals. Because your car has 300 horsepower does not mean you have to use all 300. You do not have to get through the intersection at the speed limit. You can take a little more time, work your way up to the speed limit. If the, if the light is red two blocks away, cars coast really well. And you don't have to be afraid to, to drive with no feet on the pedals. When you coast, it's free. When you get on the brakes, you pay for brakes. When you get on the gas, you pay for gas. If the car will ride it to a stop by itself, absolutely, let it do it. It's free that way. That's, that's an excellent point. Uh, the, um... the other thing is reduce your freeway speed. 60 miles an hour is the magic number. Above 60 miles an hour, your fuel consumption goes through the floor. It takes what much, much more power to push that car through the air the faster you go. Uh, and it's, I believe it's of a square of how fast you're going. The average car that gets, say, 15 miles to the gallon at 60 miles an hour is going to get two out of 100. Wow. Okay. So it's not just like a gradual decrease. No. The speed goes up. It goes the like goes this. Okay. So 80 miles an hour is costing you big. Excellent. Um, what, if any, role does uh, cruise control play in all that? Um, cruise control. If your driving habits are good and you're a smooth driver, you'll get better mileage by, your own, by yourself because the car will seek to keep the, speed, the same speed no matter what the grade or whatever traffic is like. If you tend to be aggressive, the cruise control is going to be a little bit better for you. But if you're a conservative driver, leave it off.
Any other thing people can do to, to air up your tires? It's posted on the inside of the door, uh, of the driver door, what the recommended tire pressure should be. On the side of the tire, it's written the maximum allowable pressure for the tire. The car manufacturers like to run the, the tires nice and soft, so the, the ride quality is good. But if you air the tires up more, closer to the maximum of the tire, your economy will be better because you've reduced the rolling resistance of the car. Does it make any big difference in the ride that the, the driver will feel? The, when you start getting up toward the, the maximum pressures, they start to feel like you're riding in the Flintstones car. But five pounds, you'll never know the difference. And it'll improve your, yes. and it'll improve your mileage. Are you get, just out of, out of curiosity, are you getting a lot of questions from customers because of the recent spike in gas prices? It hasn't been out long enough okay. for that to be a real issue. Every time, it, every time the fuel prices spike, we go through this every time. And yeah, we do get people that come in like, gosh, my car's not getting good, good gas mileage. But you know, it's not a whole lot we can do anymore. Cars are very sophisticated. Right. And if they're broken, we can certainly fix them. But driving habits makes more difference than anything your car could do if it's running right. Right, yeah, and the computer adjusts so... It, so finely. Right. And as long as you keep your foot out of it, it's going to get the best mileage it can get. There you go. Excellent. All right.